Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful romantic flower bracelet with a beaded chain or a beaded uh, bracelet band. I'm showing it really easy and step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and by the way, down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. What else I'm using here? A clasp and a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. I'm using size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers. The pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I start my work by taking my 10 millimeter pearl. I'm going through it sliding it down like this and I'm and I'm holding this tail thread with my two fingers here and I'm going to take 10 of these beautiful turquoise beads okay and I need these 10 beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down as well okay like this then holding here with my thumb I'm going through my pearl and pulling like this. Then I will flip my work, work like this still holding this tail thread here and I'm going to take 10 more turquoise beads. Okay and I have my 10 beads on my needle and I have my pearl here. I'm holding it like this and I'm going back in circle through this pearl like I did before in at the other side of my pearl and I'm pulling and now I have this. Now I, what I want to do is go still holding this tail thread only the beginning is a little bit difficult with this tail thread holding then it will become easier okay so I'm going through as many beads as I can in this direction. Then again through the other. Okay. Now I pull tight and tighten up. Then I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is make a knot with my main thread and my tail thread. Okay, I'm making my knot by going twice through the loop I've made here. And then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I don't need to hold anything anymore. And what else I want to do is go through my pearl because I want to hide this knot inside. When I pull, it hides inside the hole of the pearl. And then I want to go through all of those beads. And exit through these two beads here. Okay. Now here, I want to add two seed beads to fill this gap. I'm adding them like this. And I continue in this direction through all of the beads aiming for this hole here. And again, I want to add two seed beads and I'm filling the hole and I'm going through the next two beads. 
And now I'm starting my next row. It will consist of white, two big pink beads and a white. Okay, this is what I have. And I go backwards. Here is where I'm exiting, guys. And I go backwards through two beads. Okay, like this. You see I'm going through two backwards. And I pull. And now you see what I have. I have a loop between these four beads that I just added and these two beads that are here at the center of my pearl. Okay. Then I go through the next two. And this time I'm going to take three beads. Okay, I'm taking a white and two turquoise and I go through this white and then through these two beads backwards. Okay, you see the, here is where my thread is. Now I'm going through the white and through these beads. Okay. And from now on I'm going to alternate the colors and I'm going to add three beads okay but first what I need to go is to do is go through two um, beads in this direction okay now as I'm exiting here I take a white and two pinks I alternate the colors one more time and I go through this white and then I want to go through four beads instead of two because in this way I save time because when I make here this loop of beads I will need to go through the next two and when I do this in one step I, I save time. Okay. Now I'm here where I need to be for my next step and again I take three beads, one white and two turquoise because the next color is turquoise and I go through the white and through the next four. If it's easier for you, go through two and then through two more. But I prefer to do it in this way. Okay, now I need the pink color and I'm taking one white and two pink beads. And I go through the white and through the following four beads. Okay guys, and I will continue this and I'll meet you here at the last step to show you what's coming up next. And here I am guys at almost the last step. Okay, and see what I have. I'm exiting after these two turquoise beads and now I'm going to do something different. I will go through this white bead and this time instead of adding Three beads, I'm going to add two turquoise beads. Okay, I'm taking two. I'm going through this white. Uh, you see why I'm doing this? Because these two whites are already there from my first and my last loop of beads that I added. Because I'm working in a circle, I have beads that overlap. Okay. Now I will exit here from this white and I want to exit after that through these two pink beads. And I'm going to take a pink, a white and a pink and I'm going backwards through these two pink beads. Then I'm taking a white bead and what I do is that I go through the following two turquoise beads. Now I'm going to take two turquoise and I go back through these two turquoise. Okay. You see I have a loop here between these two turquoise in the inner circle and these two newly added. Don't worry that it bends to the center at this stage, we'll fix it later. 
Okay, now I need one white. Go through the following two pink beads. And I take a pink, a white and a pink. And I go back. Like this. Then I'm going to take a white and go through these two turquoise. And here what I need are two turquoise. I go back like I showed you in my previous step. It looks like a herringbone stitch at this point. Okay, and one. And I go through the pink beads. And I'll show you again. Pink, white and pink is this step. Then I add a white splitter. And then I add two turquoise beads. Again a splitter, again pink, white, pink. And I will continue this and I'll meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see everything up to here and repeat it. See you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last two turquoise beads from this row. Then what I need to add is one more white splitter bead and pay attention, add it here at these two bottom pink beads, not here at the top pink, white, pink. Okay, here is where I'm adding it. And now what I want to do is go here through these three beads. Then again through the white and through the pink and I want to exit of this first pink bead. Like this. This is what I have now. And I'm going to take three pink beads. And as I'm exiting through this first pink here, I'm skipping the white and I'm going through the next pink. Okay, and I have my first flower ready. Now I'm going to take just one white bead, again a splitter bead, and I go through these two turquoise beads. Then I'm going to take three turquoise. And I go back like this. Then again, I take a white and I go here through this pink one. And then I take three to finish my flower. And as I'm exiting through the first pink, I skip the white in the center and I go through the following pink. And when I pull, I have this. Okay. Then I'm going to take one more splitter bead. I go through these two turquoise beads. And again, I take three turquoise. And I go back. Again, a splitter bead and again a flower. A splitter bead. And a flower formed with three pinks. And I'm going to continue these guys until I come up here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm just adding my last three pink beads from this row. Then I'm going to take one white bead and I'm adding it here in my flower as a splitter bead, okay? Now, what else I want to do to make this work stay in a better shape is go through this top 
three flower beads. Then I'm going to take one white splitter bead and I'm going here in this green. Then I'm taking three greens. I skip here the top and go like this. Then I take a white, I go here, skip the three top beads, then take a white and go through the first green and take three greens. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I need to add one more white bead and I'm adding it here through this pink, which is next to the pink that's sticking out the most. Okay, now I have this and from here on guys, I'm going to make the band of my bracelet and how I do this first, I'm going to take three green beads. I skip the pink that's in the center here and I go like this through the next pink. I have this now and in my next step, I want to go in this direction. And I want to exit again through these two, through these three uh, green beads. First through one of them, then I'm adding a white bead, then through the second one of them, and I'm adding a white bead again, and then through the third one, to the third green. Okay, now I have this. And then in my next step, I also want to go out in this direction. Then through all of those three beads again. Okay. Now from here on, I have the platform of my bracelet band. And I'm going to take three pink beads and I'm going back through all of those three. Then backwards through these three. Then again, I need three pink beads and I go back through these three pinks again. In this way, I will make something like a beaded chain around this flower. Okay. Then I will use my next color. If you want, you could do it one color. I'm alternating two colors and now I take turquoise. Go back like this, then backwards through these three, and then I add three more. And then I'll go back to the pink and I will add two rows of pink, two rows of turquoise. And when I think that my band here is uh, long enough, I will be back. Okay, and for my wrist, guys, I think 26 rows will be ready. I mean 26 from here on will be enough. Okay, and uh, now I want to attach my clasp here. And how I do this, I take my needle and I go through the middle of these three beads that I added. Okay, I'm exiting here. And what I need to do is add two white beads then my clasp, then two more white beads and I'm going back like this 
Now I want to reinforce this joint here. Okay, now I will find the place uh, to make a knot and let's say I'm making my knot here. Okay, I make here a loop, I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction. And if you want, you could use your pliers at this stage. And now it is time to cut my tail thread. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to put a new thread on my needle and I'll be back to tell you how to make this the ring band from this side. Okay, guys, and I'm basically doing the same thing that I did from this side. Okay, uh, in order to do this, I should attach my new thread here. Okay, I go here through some beads, then I want to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made and I'm holding my tail thread. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and I pull. And now what I want to do is exit here at this central bit of my pink beads. Okay. Then I want to cut this tail thread that stays here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing, guys. I'm going to take three green beads go back like this then I add two whites And it is absolutely the same thing that I did here from this side. Uh, and here what I want to take are three pink beads. And I go back like this. Then I go back. Take three more again. Then I'm going to add uh, two rows of turquoise beads, then again two rows of pink and I will continue this again when I have 26 beads. I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continued beading, this is what I have. And now what I want to do here is uh, make the same thing that I did from this side but using this jump ring and I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this so I'll make it off camera and I'll be back okay guys and after I made this loop here of beads both sides of my bracelet are ready so now you could close it like this and now your romantic beaded bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new videos usually twice a week and you will be inspired often you could also check description for full list of materials linked to my facebook page where you could share your beautiful creations that you did following me a link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel Thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me.